Hi everybody. If you've got some extra cucumbers lying around from your neighbors or your own garden, today we're going to show you how to make a quick and easy refrigerator pickle. My grandma had a wonderful recipe for these and I wanted to share it with you today. If you have any jars laying around, any kind of jar at all with a lid, and the ingredients in front of me here, you can make this pickle. So, two or three cucumbers depending on the size, about a cup of green pepper chopped, about the same amount of onion, we'll have a recipe at the end. You can also use any vegetable that you would eat raw. So you could use green beans, carrots, radishes, anything like that. You're gonna need a cup of vinegar. This is apple cider vinegar, so it is yellow because it is made from fermented apples. It's a little fruitier than a white vinegar, but you could use white vinegar. They have the same acidity. A cup and a half of white sugar, a fourth of a cup of kosher salt or canning salt. The experts that do a lot of pickling tell you not to use table salt because it's iodized and the iodine can make the vegetables turn a little off color. But honestly, this vinegar will do the same. So if you don't have any kind of a canning or kosher salt, it won't really matter what you use. So we're going to go ahead and do the brine first because this needs to cool before you add it to the vegetables or the vegetables will cook a little bit and they won't be as crisp when you bring them out from the refrigerator. So I would go ahead and mix these ingredients into a Pyrex or any kind of a, uh, a stove uh, pan for your stove top if you'd prefer to do it that way instead of the microwave. Give them a little stir, microwave them or cook them just until they boil. These ingredients, this is going to be the brine that you're going to pour into the jar after the vegetables are there. Okay, so you can see that I've chopped up these uh, green peppers into about one inch chunks. We've got our uh, onion sliced a little bit, so it's in sort of some thinner slices, not necessarily chunks, more sliced. And then this is a mandolin. Now, if you don't have one of these, uh, you can obviously just cut your cucumbers with a knife, but I wanted to show you how these make this job like really easy. They're a real simple, inexpensive purchase and you just sit there on the cutting board and just start to slice. You can adjust the uh, uh, depth or the, to be thin or thicker, and you just simply run it along here. When you get down to the end, it gives you this nice handy guard so that you don't slice your hand. This is a great way to chop up your pickles. You can also do these pickles in spears if you'd prefer than slices, so it's whichever. Okay, so once you have your vegetables cut up, there's your cucumbers, peppers, onions, put them in a bowl so that you can mix them well so that when you put them in the jars, it'll be evenly mixed for you. So next, take your clean, dry jar, and you wanna pack these as tight as you can in the jar. You wanna pack them tightly without smashing them. And you can see I'm gonna have a little extra here probably for my smaller jar. Leave about an inch or so at the top, like so. Pretty nicely packed without being smashed. Okay, so now once your brine is out of the microwave or off the range and cooled a bit, then you want to go ahead and pour the brine onto the pickles. You may have more than you need, but that's better than running out. So it's always hard to say. It depends on the size of the cucumbers. You want to let that sit a little bit so obviously it goes down all throughout. Let it sit for a couple minutes, let the air bubbles come up, and then just again finish it off to about an inch from the top. It's already fairly cool if your brine was cooled, so that you can just go ahead and place your lid on tight. And there's the other one that we did as well. These go in the refrigerator for 24 hours till you try them. Back to show you how they taste. It's been 24 hours. Going to take a couple into our little dish here and give them a taste. We like to do with all of our recipes. It's really nice that we have some pepper and onion in addition to the cucumber. Mmm, very crispy and crunchy, which we talked about uh, was the main reason why we wanted the brine to be cooled a bit. Now I'm going to try the cucumber. Mmm, the same. Very crunchy, very delicious. This has a fruity flavor from our apple cider vinegar, but it also has a little sweetness. 
This would be considered a sweet pickle, um, but it isn't too sweet. I think you'll really enjoy it. Can't wait for you to give it a try, and we'll see you next time.